Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And hello beautiful people, welcome back. I hope that you guys are all having an amazing day today and I hope you're ready to dive into today's video, which we will be doing in just one second because we have three things we need to talk about first. Number one, this hoodie. Oh my God, you guys, I am absolutely obsessed. Um, if you missed, it was supposed to be Friday's video. It ended up going on uh, or going up Saturday. This is the hoodie I was talking about from Civil Regime that I finally got my hands on. It is so cute, so comfy, so fuzzy, such good quality. Um, it has these adorable little like flower appliques. This is, don't mind my tea. We'll talk about this. This is thing three. We'll get there in a second. Uh, but it has these adorable little like flower appliques and those are on both arms and the hoodie. And then on, in the front right here, it just says civil regime. And then the hoodie is just like a basic unisex constructed hoodie. And I think the reason that I like these so much, especially now after seeing it in person, first of all, the quality and like the actual fabric itself and the appliques and the design of it, it is so, so beautiful. Like this isn't something that was thrown together, a, you know, a thrown together cheap, you know, $3 hoodie or something. This is a really nice thick hoodie, thick material. It's really well sewn. It's very well constructed. And I think obviously that attributes to why it's so nice quality wise. I think as far as the design goes, I think they did a perfect job at like balancing feminine and masculine aesthetic and like cutting it right down the middle because every model that you see wearing these, whether it's a man or a woman, like it, it doesn't matter. It looks so perfect on them. And I think it's just like that perfect in between of like, it's okay to soften it up a little it's okay to edge it up a little. It's okay to do whatever. And for today's video, because I'm playing around with all the new Fenty stuff, you know, eyeshadows and eyeliners and all that, I thought it would actually be a really cool take because Fenty is one of those companies, this isn't sponsored or anything, but they're one of those companies that's all about edging it up and doing something different and being whoever you are. And I don't know, there was just something that really fit between like the hoodie, the design of it, the company I'm dealing with, you know, like it just all kind of works. So I just wanted to introduce you guys. This is my new hoodie. I am diehard obsessed. Um, I will link their website down below again none of this is sponsored, but I will link it down below. Um, if you guys are curious, these do sell out really quickly and I know they do them in batches and then they release them. So, cause I've been trying to get one for a while now. So just if you're curious um, and they're out of stock, that's why, but definitely, you know, check them out if, if you're interested cause they are gorgeous and the quality is so good. And that brings us to thing number two, y'all, my hair. I know it looks like I glued some little Cinnabons up there and covered them in hair and I just don't care. I think that they look so adorable. I think they look a little bit different, a little bit funky, which matches the vibe, it matches the outfit, or the outfit, the vibe, the makeup, whatever. It's all gonna come together. So I just wanted to introduce you uh, because I think it's so freaking cute. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm living my best little little Princess Leia Cinnabon moment. But all of that brings me back to thing number three, which is my Harry Potter Tervis, which is full of throat coat tea because I do believe I have some sort of vocal cord damage or laryngitis or something, I don't know. Um, I was going to the doctor for it like, you know, weeks ago before all of this happened. Um, and I was in the process of trying to see if I could get it better, possibly needing a referral. And then, you know, a, a worldwide pandemic struck and I'm kind of like, mm, probably don't need to go to the doctor for that. So I'm just gonna have to nurse my voice a little bit, but that's all, it's really not that deep. So I'm just gonna take a drink of this and then we're gonna go ahead and we can finally get into the, into the show. The show, the video, the show, it's really more of a show, who are we kidding? Oh yes, girl, coat that throat, mm-hmm. Okay, so now that we're good and zoomed in and we have all of the prerequisites out of the way, if you will, now we're gonna talk about this big old bag full of goodies that I have from Fenty. I am so freaking excited uh, because I have a ton of their new stuff here. I have eyeshadow palettes and liners and primers and sprays, oh my. So I think the best place to get started with in this box would of course be, because there's nothing on my face, the primer. And this is their newer primer. It's their Pro Filter Hydrating Primer that is supposed to give you a soft silk finish and extend makeup wear. Yes, extended makeup wear, instant hydration, soft silk finish. Those are the three main headlines. And it looks like it comes in your standard Fenty components with this nice little soft touch glass moment, which I love. Feels in consistency, kind of like a hydrogel. If you've ever used a hydrogel moisturizer for your face, that's kind of what this feels like. And it has a light, ooh, a light little vanilla bean fragrance. Ooh, okay. I like it. And for today's video, I'm just gonna be taking one pump here and putting it on my face. I am primarily putting it like on the planes of my face that tend to get a little bit drier. And then the leftover, I'm gonna put onto the T-zone. So that feels absolutely fantastic. <laughs> like what is happening? That feels so good. Go with me on this one. It kind of reminds me of when you like have a little baby in front of you and you're like, oh, in their face cause it's like so soft. That's what it reminds me of. Like, ugh, it's just the softest little thing. Is that weird? Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, anytime that I have to ask if something is weird or not weird, it's probably weird. Like the odds are very good. So 
Let's go ahead and instead move on to some foundation, which for today, I'm just going to be using my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And this is in the shade Mont Blanc. Oh my God. Okay, I know that there's stuff in here. I just need you to like actually get to the little spigot. Come on, NARS. Come on, baby, NARS my fire. <laughs> Okay, so we've officially reached DEF CON Desperate with this bottle. We are officially banging... I just flung it onto my nose. And to apply this, I'm using a Fenty sponge, which if you have never used one of these, they are so fantastic. And that's coming from somebody that loves a Real Technique sponge, okay? But there is just something about these Fenty sponges. They are so nice and so soft. And now for concealer, I'm just blending out some of my Hourglass concealer in the shade Birch. Then I'm also gonna go ahead really quickly and use my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Powder to set my under eye and my T-zone. Y'all know how it is. I like to try to get through some of these steps so that way you know what I'm doing, but also like you don't have to watch me do every single step that has nothing to do with what we're talking about today. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bronze up with a little bit of my Chanel Cream Bronzer, just a little bit. And I'm not gonna like over sculpt my face or anything. I'm just adding a little bit here and there to give it a little extra, you know, added definition just cause why not? And then from there, I'm grabbing a little bit of the under pressure shade from the ColourPop Blush Stick Collection. All right, you guys, and with that step, we are finally to the place of another Fenty product. I know it's been a hot second. Um, this is their new match stick that they came out with. It's their Glow Skincare Crayon, and it's in the shade Pearl. All right, and then there is the swatch. I'm trying to get it in and out of the light. It looks like, from what I can see, it's more on, like, the glowy side. It's definitely not meant, I don't think, to be something that's, like, a highlighter or to give off that beaming effect. And to apply this, I'm just going to take some on my sponge here. Well, at least I'm going to try it this way first and see if it does anything. Oh, no, 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 no. It's removing my foundation. Oh God, no, 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 no. Okay, uh, we're not gonna do that. All right, so you know what's weird about this? I'm reading on their website and I was like, oh, I must be wrong. Like it's supposed to just go on your bare skin because it says, whether you wear it on a bare face or layered over makeup, the lightweight non-sticky formula leaves you fresh faced without looking or feeling greasy. So it does kind of give me the implication that I should be able to put it over my makeup, but based on the consistency of this, it is lifting my makeup, and I even tried a little patch on my hand right here, and it lifted that too. So I'm thinking for me, this one, if I were to use this, it would be like a very natural, no makeup, makeup type day. But for the purposes, like I said, of today's video, I don't think it's the best. Um, if anything, yeah, it definitely like removed my foundation right there if I'm just comparing sides. So it's definitely not my favorite. If you're going to wear it over makeup, I don't recommend that because even though it says that it has like a really, you know, a non-greasy type formula, I definitely do feel like there's um, too much slip for me personally to wear it with makeup. And what I'm going to do from here over top of it is just lightly set my entire face with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. This is that same magic powder that I used before. Actually, you know what? Instead of doing that, I'm going to use this MAC um, Light Mineralized Skin Finish Powder here. It's a really, really light finishing powder because I just realized my face really isn't all that tacky and I really don't want to overset it and make it like thick and cakey. Then for my brows, I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Brow MVP. I have this in the shade Medium Brown. These aren't new or anything. They came out quite some time ago, but, um, and I reviewed them way back when they came out. I did a whole video on them, uh, but I thought it would be a good one to use for today's video, since how we're talking about Fenty. As far as the actual pencil goes, I don't think that it's a bad product or anything. Um, I actually quite like the, the pencil end of it and the way that it kind of diffuses the product through your brows. It's a really nice, almost powdery look, which makes it a lot less harsh, which is really what I'm into right now. So as far as that goes, I do like it. The only thing that I struggle with is that I prefer a little spoolie at the end. And I like the innovation and I like that they were trying to go from that aspect. It's just, I don't I don't like the brush at the end. I would prefer a spoolie. Okay, so while I was off of camera super quickly, I was just resting my voice, um, you know, just try, trying to save it a little bit. And I finished up my brows, obviously, which again, this optical illusion where this brow looks better bigger and thicker is just like, it's the bane of my existence. And I want to know down below, does anybody else have a brow that like in cameras or if you film or whatever, it always looks different because I swear to you, I leave this room and it looks completely normal. It's just in here. 
and I'm convinced that there's like some cosmic shift that happens on this half of my face. I can't prove it, okay, but it's scientific and it's there and one day I'll figure it out. But anyways, my weird brow stuff aside, let's go ahead and talk about what else I did. So we have brow pencil done, brow gel done. I used a little bit of my ABH uh, dip brow gel in deep brown and then I did apply a little bronzer and blush. To do that, I used the Revlon Skin Lights bronzer. This is in 110 Sunlit Glow. And then for blush, I grabbed a little bit of my Ciate blush. This is their marbled light in the shade halo and with that you guys it's finally time we get to dive into the eyeshadow palettes and i am so excited i picked up four different ones i have the palette numbers two, five, six, and seven. As far as how I chose which ones to get, I tried to use, for, for two of them, I used the Fenty recommendations that they had on the website. And then the other two that I chose, I chose just because I thought they were like super duper pretty. Now the first two that I chose are number two and six and look at, they click together. This is so cute. But uh, anyways, sorry, I'm excited. So this is number two right here, which I believe is the cool neutrals. Let's take these apart here. This is, yes, this is the Cool Neutrals palette right here, which on their website, they paired with number six, the Smoky palette which is right here. And then the last two palettes that I picked up were in no you know, rhyme or reason. I just really liked the color schemes. So the first one is number seven, Cadet. Look at that. Look at the K. Don't, don't focus on my face, girl. Focus on this palette. Look at this color story. And who can guess what this reminds me of? Who can guess? One guess. Come on, come on, come on. You ready? Subculture. I looked at this and I was like, oh my God. It's like if you took the entire Subculture palette and jammed the key components into six little pans and I was so excited. And then last but not least, because I'm a basic little bee, I grabbed number five, the peach palette. Look at how freaking cute that is. Oh my God. This is my everyday, like I, I would reach for this constantly. I love the colors. I think it's so cute. And really quickly, I do want to run through and swatch these palettes for you guys, just in case, I don't know, you haven't seen them or something. I don't know. I feel like they've been all over the internet at this point. So the first one is number, this is the number six smoky palette right there. It's very chill, very neutral. And then here is that one, number two, which is on this side right here next to the other one, just so you guys can see what the shades look like next to each other. I actually think that that's a really pretty combination. Like I love the um, the fact that one of them has a little bit of a lighter tone to it. If you wanna grab the other palette, you can kind of deepen it up or you can stick with just the lighter shades. I kinda like that. Oh my gosh, you guys, the Cadet palette. <gasps> oh, that's so good. I love that. Oh my gosh, okay. So I went into today with plans, and if I didn't already have those plans, I would be rocking this palette right now. <gasps> I love it. I love it so much. Oh my gosh, you guys, palette number five, this peach palette. It is so cute. Can you see these three shimmers? <gasps> they are like butter, and they're so cute, and that top one is a duochrome type shade. <gasps> But now speaking of this plan that I've already expressed to you twice, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my eyelids and we're actually gonna put eyeshadow on them. Oh my God, what a crazy idea. Now the first thing we're gonna do now that our eyelids are primed and ready to go is we're going to pick up the number two palette right here. And I wanna lead in with this lighter shade right in the dead center on the top row. I'm gonna take that with a Morphe E23. It's a fluffier style brush. And I am going to be using this, I think, to just lightly start checking out the pigmentation of these shades. The reason that I'm starting off with this uh, this shade first is because I need to get a feel for her shadows and how they blend out because I haven't used one of her palettes, gosh, probably since the, was it like the, it was like the Macaroon palette or something? I don't know, I wasn't a fan. It was like the big blue shape with all the diamond ones in it. I wasn't a big fan of the palette though. Now moving back into the eyes, I'm gonna take this deeper shade right here. We're still in the number two palette and I'm gonna take that on a Sigma E40 and I am going to very lightly start deepening up this outer crease really concentrating and just building up the color. And then after I've got most of the color deposited on that outer V right there up in this crook to make my eye look a little bit bigger, a little bit more lifted, I'm going to take what's left over on the brush and just swing it over and start kind of blending it into that other shade. And now really quickly, I'm just gonna pop on some NYX glitter glue and I'm gonna pop this all over the mobile lid, take it nice and high on the inside here just to help open up that inner eye. It'll help balance the darkness on the outer corner, make my eyes look bigger. And then from there, we're in the number two palette. We're gonna grab this lighter shade up here, tap it off a little bit here, and then we're just going to pop that 
with my finger. Obviously, you can use a brush if you prefer, but I like using my finger just because I can feel my bone structure right up there. And then on the back half of that eye, right in between here, we're gonna bridge that gap in the number six palette with this really pretty deep mauve brown purple type color. And I'm just very, very lightly kind of popping the color onto the lid. Ooh, that's beautiful. <gasps> yeah, these two palettes work really well together. Ooh. Oh, I like that a lot. Okay, that's really pretty. Yep, yep, mm-hmm, yep, 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 uh-huh, uh-huh. Yep, yep, you, yep, yep, me. To everyone that that is now stuck in your head, you're welcome. I'm not gonna suffer alone, that's for damn sure. All right, and now that we have the tops done, which I am absolutely obsessed with how that looks, oh my gosh, um, I'm gonna grab this. This is just a Morphe M456, and I'm gonna grab that deeper shade right there, and I'm gonna pop a little bit of that onto the lower lash line just to help lift that eye the rest of the way up. And then just to blend that out a little bit, I'm grabbing that lighter shade that we initially put down in the crease, the lighter um, transition shade. And I'm just blending that out a little bit. Okay, so this is where we're at right now with eyeshadow and I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this looks so, so fantastic. I like this, wow. I'm so, I'm super impressed with the way that these just blended. All right guys, so it's officially the part that I was the most excited for, eyeliner. And we're excited because I picked up four shades and these shades just called to me on the website. And from the black to the blue, we have the shade Cause I'm Black, Bad Bride, Purple Stuff, and Lady Lagoon. And this to me is just like what it's all about because I have heard such amazing things Obviously, there's a lot of these shades available But after swatching the four that I have I will speak to the consistency. It's very universal They all are very very soft So be mindful how hard you press like with the the white one here I did notice that I pressed a little too hard and a chunk of it did flake off So something to keep in mind they have a very very light touch resistance But as far as the glide that they have and the pigmentation you barely have to eat even touch them to your skin and the pigmentation is beautiful and the first shade that I'm gonna go in with is the black shade and I'm just gonna lightly line my waterline and then on the lower lash line here I'm gonna go ahead and pop the blue shade Lady Lagoon Oh my God, so pretty. All right, so here's the deal. This is probably the most vibrant and stunning like blue color that I've ever used and the pigmentation on it and the way that it shows up so true to the color that it is in the tube and the color when you swatch it, it is on point. And at this point, if you don't follow other small creators, you might not know, like this might not look familiar, but if you do, I was really, really inspired by a look that my friend Teresa did. I wanna say it was maybe like a month, month and a half ago. She did this beautiful like cool gray kind of look on her upper lid and she put with it this blue liner and I've, I have been absolutely obsessed with it for weeks now. And for those of you that don't know who Teresa is, I will leave her channel linked down below because I obviously, I watch her, I love her. She's hilarious as a person and she loves to play around with like fun, vibrant colors, but she also, you know, dabbles around on neutral days. So if you're ever looking for color combo or inspiration or anything like that, she's your girl. I'll leave her link down below. And now from there, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try to set it down and take away a little bit of that powdery look and for that I'm going to use my Morphe setting spray and then while that finishes settling into the skin we're going to grab our Revlon highlight this is in the shade 201 Daybreak Glimmer I'm going to take this on my elf jelly pop stipple brush here and just hit my cheeks with it y'all know you've seen me use this a couple of times now because I have been obsessed look at it Oh, it's so good. And then since how we are talking about Little Miss Fenty, we also grabbed the How Many Carrots highlight, which this is one of those very interesting textures of, it's not really a highlight, but it has like this interesting glitter, like gel feeling to it. And I like to take this and pop it over top of my highlight when I want to feel just a little bit extra. Oh God, cause it's super beautiful. It's very blinding and it layers up stunningly with other highlights. Oh, so good. And I thought, you know, seeing how things didn't work out with that glow stick over my makeup, we could at least play around with this little guy because it's been a while since I busted it out of my vault, girl, and it looks so good. I did pick up another item from the Fenty website. This is their new makeup refreshing spray. It's called the What It Do Spray, and it says that it preps skin, refreshes makeup, and is an instant hydration fix on the fly. First things first, you know, we gotta do the spray test. Oh, wow. Very, 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 very light fragrance, if any. Dare I say that's probably the lightest mist I've ever felt from a setting spray in my entire life. Wow, okay. 
Now looking up close at my face, do I think that it really did anything? No, I can't see like a noticeable difference, but it feels really nice. It actually feels good enough that I would probably prep my skin with this because when I need a setting spray, I really like to have something that has like the Hold on, let me kind of, I'm just going to demonstrate. I like to use something that when I go in with it, I can actually feel it on my skin. Like, it's a nice mist, but I can still feel the product, which is the Morphe one. And something like that, it, it doesn't set my face enough. Like, I, I need a little bit of wetness to kind of press everything in. Um, and that's just, it, it's not quite there, but it feels really nice. Now, really quickly, I'm just giving my lashes a good old curl here. This is still just my e.l.f. lash curler. And then, of course, we are finally getting to test out the new Fenty Full Frontal Mask which I have been dying to use for so long now. All right guys, so it's been a couple of minutes. I just got done finishing up the mascara and I grabbed my makeup wipe so I could remove those swatches. And let me tell you, those eyeliners are no joke. Like I had to scrub so hard to get them to come off uh, with a makeup wipe. So fun fact there, I think they're gonna be a pretty decent wearing um, item for the eyes. At least I hope they will. Let's go ahead and move into the lips. I'm just gonna get some of the crusty busty off. And as far as those go, I did pick up two new glosses. I picked up the one that is the glass slipper shade, which is just a clear lip gloss. And then I also picked up a full size of the hot chocolate shade, which I do have a mini on and I like to keep that one. Oh, well, I'll, I'll rotate them. I'll either keep one of them in here or one of them in my purse and I'll keep them back and forth. But this is the nude shade and I have wanted the full size of this one for so long now. So I picked this up and I want to see what it looks like with just the gloss. And all right, you guys, that is it. Those are all of the new Fenty products that I picked up on and applied in my first impression. I want to hear your thoughts and opinions down below, whether it's about the products, the way that the look turned out, anything that you have to say, leave it down in the comments. As far as me and the first impressions go, I do want to just kind of, you know, buzz through those because overall, my first impression for everything was pretty positive. I don't think there was anything that I was like, oh, you know, I don't like it. It didn't work, whatever. Um, but that being said, I do think I'll have to play around with some of these a little bit more. And the first one would definitely be the primer. I'm going to have to play around with that in the combination of different foundations to see um, which ones it works with, which ones it doesn't, and kind of j just try to work that whole scenario out because I, I do think like today with this foundation, I don't think it's the best combination um, of the two just based on how it's breaking down on my skin. But the primer itself does feel nice and hydrating, but not in like an overwhelming oily kind of way. So I definitely want to take advantage of that and see if I can make it work for my skin because I I love the way that it feels. All of the eye products, whether it is the mascara, the eyeshadows, or the liners, those all worked fantastic. Like the, the shadows themselves, they blended beautiful. The pigmentation was on point. Nothing was patchy. I didn't have any issues with any of those, and I'm really happy with the color stories that I picked up. The mascara I really like because it actually takes and makes it look like I have more lashes um, horizontally, not just lengthening and not just making them more voluminous, but actually creating the appearance of more lashes and really just filling out my lash band in general, which I, I'm, I'm a big fan of that. I, I like the, the fullness that I have. Uh, the eyeliners I'm crazy about. Like this blue one is so beautiful and it's so vibrant. It hasn't started wearing off my lash line yet, which is awesome. Um, and then the glosses I'm already a big fan of. I might add a little bit of lip liner to this, but other than that, I love the way it turned out. You guys can let me know again your thoughts down below. Is there anything else you want to see? Do you like this video? You guys know the drill. Leave it all down in the comments. And of course, if you haven't checked me out yet, Instagram and on Twitter. You can do that down below. They will both be linked. I am super active over on Instagram, especially with everything that's going on. Um, I'm posting everything from just me checking in, uh, TikTok videos, random quizzes, whatever I can find to be a little bit more entertaining for you guys. You will find all of that over on Instagram. And of course, per usual, if you haven't subscribed, please be sure to do that as well. I do upload three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and they go up bright and early between 6 and 7 a.m. my time here in good old Northern Michigan. So subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and you guys, that is it. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to have a great day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Okay, don't be rude, you stupid mic stand. It's very rude of you to get caught up in all the garbage that I have neglected to throw away for the last multiple weeks. <laughs> don't be so rude. First things first, I have like three three key points. Wow, did you see how hard that was for me? <sighs> it has these adorable flower appliques all down the arms. They're on both arms. And then, ooh, where's my candle? You can't even see my candle. Hello? Well, <laughs> okay, if that didn't make you giggle, <laughs> then you're older than seven. Okay.
Just, you can at least see it. Okay, seriously, I'm gonna need everyone to leave me alone for 10 minutes because I'm very busy.